I think it's always great when you have like even scoring throughout a program and it's just so much fun to play with these girls and like one thing we talked about a lot in the locker room right there at the end is just celebrating each other's successes and that's what we're able to do just because everybody's playing like outstanding and it's just because like we've been putting in extra work with each other by ourselves like it's just it's really fun to be with it's really fun to play, play with a few yeah. weeks back you, you took a tough loss to Gonzaga and then Portland was ugh, just well, what's changed for you guys since then I mean was that kind of a wake-up call to just get going or? Uh, I believe so like I think that one, especially losing to Portland after we just lost to Gonzaga, a team that I think we all believe we could have beat if we would have played our best game, like that, that was a pretty big dagger all to our hearts. And I think um, it woke us up and helped us realize that it, like this season's not going to be easy. We still have to put in extra work. We still have to do the little things, pass the ball around. It's all important. So, Sir, you've always been a really good defensive player. Other coaches have told me so. The last couple of weeks, you've really broken out of your shell offensively. What, what's different? How are you kind of putting things together, I guess, on the offensive side? Are you doing it differently or working with somebody? Or just what's kind of different about you offensively lately? Uh, I think it's been really nice that, like, the rest of the team has been putting me in positions for, like, easy layups, and then that builds confidence in – in myself and like them and me and like today like on the court like I heard like every single person on the bench being like keep it up Sarah like do it again do it again so I was like okay <laughs> and so, I'll do it again <laughs> yeah when you have that much trust from your teammates it makes it almost easy to like have that aggression on offense and they've made it really easy for me you really I, I mean I talked about this last game but but you really you block shots I mean you're blocking a lot of shots. Does that fuel you on offense? When you're getting it done on, on defense, does that just get you going? Or? Yes, for sure. I think it's energizing and it gets you excited. It gets that adrenaline pump in to like, and then you forget about the fatigue and you're just going and you get, you know, you get, like when you're aggressive on defense, you're more aggressive on offense. And when I'm aggressive, I shoot the ball sometimes. <laughs> Paisley, you've had 10 assists combined the last two, two games. Um, I'm How turning into a point guard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does it just come about just because the bigs are getting it done, or is it something you focus on? Um, I think throughout my whole career here at BYU, I've always really looked in at the post because, I don't know, just my thought process of the game is, like, even scoring between the outside and the inside, and it actually helps relieve a lot of pressure off me and off the, uh, the guards. Um. But these girls are working so hard and posting up, and those passes in are super easy, and and they're making great shots out of it. So, yeah, it's just I really appreciate Paisley. She always is looking. She may not always pass it because it might not be the right pass, but she always <laughs> looks, and you can just tell. And it, it's like validating that like my effort was seen posting up, even if she just gives a ball fake or even just sees it, makes eye contact.